What happens when the president has your back? For much of American history, the position of postmaster was a patronage position within the gift of the President of the United States. Minnie Cox was the first African-American postmaster of the state of Mississippi, appointed postmaster of Indianola by President Benjamin Harrison in 1891, and reappointed to the position by President William McKinley in 1897. By all accounts, she was a popular postmaster. However, a white man, the brother-in-law of Indianola's mayor, began petitioning President Teddy Roosevelt for the position. When Roosevelt ignored him, he began a more pointed racial campaign, garnering support from many white citizens and the KKK. Minnie Cox offered to resign her post, but President Roosevelt at first refused her resignation, and then when she fled town for her own safety, refused to appoint anyone in her stead and continued to pay her salary. The town was without a post office for most of 1903, and when Roosevelt was eventually forced to reopen the post office, he refused to appoint anyone who had been involved in the campaign that led to her ouster. Minnie Cox would go on to found one of the first African-American banks in the state, as well as one of the first African-American life insurance companies in the state of Mississippi.